Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kenshi Let's Play. So there's a couple things I need to fill you, you guys in on before we go ahead and get started today. The first, of course, is that we have a new character. Uh, so Adowing has joined us. She was a, I want to say a dust bandit that we took prisoner. And in our effort to build our party up so that we have enough people to leave behind in Squin when we moved over to the hub, I figured we'd go ahead and add her and get her started mining. And that will allow us to shift... Uh, maybe Grox over to training finally. Uh, even though, you know, he's already pretty good as a fighter. We just want to make him even better. But we have that new addition and we'll probably be trying to pick up one or two more. Um, so that, again, I want to leave about three to four people in Squin to continue our mining operations there once we leave. It won't be permanently, at least not for them. Uh, I do like, I would like to maintain that mining operation. But I won't permanently relegate those four characters to that job so we'll kind of rotate people out as we get new people in um so the other big thing is and i i don't like to move the goalpost in my playthroughs but that's sort of what we're gonna have to do here just because uh, unfortunately there was a big caveat to being able to buy the hub through that other mod that i missed and it required that we were at war with the holy nation and that's not something that i'm necessarily interested in at least not yet Again, this playthrough was supposed to be focused more on, uh, you know, we wanted to set up a trade empire almost. And it's difficult to have a trade empire if you're at war with some of the major factions on the map. Now, we certainly don't like them. Again, many of our characters that we started with are actually fleeing from there. But that's not to say that we're trying to, you know, start a... Or the Holy Nation, excuse me, not the Holy Empire. Holy Nation... Uh, that's not to say that we're trying to create a rival faction and destroy them or something. We just don't like them. And I did attempt to see if I could maybe make that happen still. Uh, so I sent Rook after the, the Holy Pacifier and killed him. Unfortunately, even though he has diplomatic status with the Holy Nation, uh, it still only gave us like minus one, minus two relation to them. It wasn't near enough. And so the only way that I've been able to find where we could actually go to war with them is to do some pretty significant raiding. Our group is not about killing innocents to further a goal. We might assassinate an important person here or there to you know further our goals, but not kill a bunch of villagers or farmers just to start a war. So I've abandoned that plan. We almost had the money for it. This money is still going to get put to good use, don't worry there. But I found another mod that allows us to take the hub through different means, and that's why Rook is at the hub right now. So, through this mod, there is a slumlord who is currently overseeing the hub. And I believe he's either in the bar or possibly here. I know he's in an intact building, and so that only really leaves like three options. But that slumlord is the current controller of the hub and if we are able to kill him then if we leave and come back a little bit later the hub should transfer over to our control and then we can go ahead and build it back up it's still going to be a significant amount of work because again most of these buildings are destroyed there's no uh, real means of production here so we need to set up farming we need to set up mining we need to set up uh, manufacturing it's going to be a lot of work but potentially today the hub could be ours. So Rook is here. I should have let him rest a bit more. He is a bit injured. But we're going to do this. And the reason only Rook is here is because I felt it was a little bit more fair to fight this one-on-one. -on -one. Because if we sent our whole party, I'm sure we could overcome one person unless they were just incredibly, incredibly strong. Which it's possible this guy is, but... Rook is training to be a master assassin, so if he's going to become a master assassin, these are the sort of things he needs to be able to accomplish. This seems like a great opportunity to test his skills, especially after all the training we've been doing. And so, yeah. And if the Slumlord isn't incredibly strong, then again, this seems more fair. Because if we sent everybody, then, you know, it would happen at least with one person, there's potential for failure. Okay, so he doesn't appear to be here. So uh, I'm pretty sure he's in that shack then. So Rook, if you could run on over there. 
Now, this is going to be less of an assassination and more of a duel, I expect. I think we actually do need to talk to the person. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out shortly. But... We're not going to get the drop on him. Not that you can assassinate somebody in this game. Um, there is an assassination skill. But it's actually knocking somebody out. Stealthily. So, uh, you can see... It's kind of hard for me to like leave it on that skill, but if I'm very careful with the mouse cursor, so stealthily knock, yeah, stealthily knockouts, and then kidnapping people, but assassination doesn't actually affect your ability to actively kill anyone. You can't intentionally kill anybody outside of wounding them really bad and leaving them for dead, or just making sure that they never get back up. If they try to, you can down them again. But they're not like animals where you can pull the skins and the meat out and kill them. Humans, you can't actively do that to. Alright, so Rook, open the door. Oh, hello. Slumlord. There he is. Okay, Rook. Um. So, real quick before we do this. Does this take any indoor penalties? I don't believe so. So we can do this inside. I just want to make sure because he's using shorter weapons. Yeah. And so if we were fighting with like a pole arm or a nodachi or something, potentially we'd be at a disadvantage inside. But let's close the door behind us just so nobody sees. We'll step past. And yeah, it's not giving me any option to talk to him. So, Rook, I guess, just go ahead and attack him. And maybe we'll be able to get the drop on him. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we've got him cornered. He's having a hard time fighting back. Uh-oh. Now he's retaliating. Oh, nice block. Good job. Stay on him, stay on him. Don't let him, don't let him recover. Yeah, he is hemorrhaging. Okay, so that was more or less an assassination. Uh, he will bleed to death at this rate. Let's remove his weapon, just so he can't cause any further issue for us. What did he have on him? Dark leather shirt. That's not bad. May as well clean him out. He's going to die. A heart protector. Some plated boots. And some ninja pants. I don't really have room for those. I guess I could make room. There we go. And if I shift that over, I can take his... Oh, I had room already. Okay. So we cleaned him out. We're going to leave him to die. I didn't get hit once. Uh, he did swing at us a couple times, but we were able to parry effectively everything he threw at us. So now we just need to basically watch him bleed to death. And if he tries to get back up, we'll just hit him some more. But once he's dead, um, Rook can leave the city, and then I think it takes, I don't know how long, probably just need to go far enough away for the cell to reset, and then when we come back, the ownership should transfer to us. I don't know what specifically that will mean for us. I, I know that uh, we'll still probably need to buy all the buildings. It's possible we won't, but either way, we'll need to repair them. So we'll need to buy or produce a lot of building materials. To that end, we'll have to find good stone deposits. And I know that in terms of like metal ore deposits, there's not a ton around here. There are a few... I'm going to pause briefly just so we can look at this. Yeah, um, there's like one here. There's one way out there, which I probably won't bother with. And then I think... There is maybe one or two over here somewhere. Oh, I saw a pickaxe when I moved my mouse. But there are a few places. Oh, there's one there. And yeah, so we'll take advantage of the ones that are within range of like the, the turrets we build on the walls. I mean, we'll have to actually build those first, but like this is defensible and the person working there can always run back to town if necessary the same is true for this one out here i don't know where we're going to find stone we'll actually have to try to build that resource and actually see 
uh, you know, where the best yields are going to be. He's not bleeding anymore. Um, Rook. We can kidnap him. I, I wonder if I kidnap him and force him to join us, what happens there? Um, I, I probably shouldn't test it because I know that the requisite for us to gain the city is for him to be dead. And so if he joins our faction, which I don't even know if it's possible to do, uh, that mod that lets me recruit prisoners um, has like very specific dialogue for the type of prisoner. I don't know where he would fall into that. But he's not bleeding anymore. So I don't know what else I can do. I'm not going to patch him up, obviously. Uh, I guess kidnap him real quick. And put him back down. Hmm. Well, I'm going to wait and watch this for a little bit. You guys don't need to see me looming over his body. <laughs> so, uh, I'll try to figure something out, and when I do, we'll come back and take care of it. Alright, so I had an idea, and luckily I have this mod installed already because I don't think there's any other way to actively kill this guy. Oh, and my people haven't been working because of the import. Shoot. Um, no, he should be. Have you been working? Yeah, he's been working. It just didn't look like it. Right. Well, as you can see there, I placed down a prisoner burning pole somewhere out here. I can't do it too close to the city, and it won't let me do it in my base. But uh, the reason I chose to do it here is because Balder will have building materials on him. I don't know if Rook could get building materials in the hub. So Rook is going to have to run our prisoner all the way down here. And then we're going to put him on that prisoner burning pole and see if that will actively kill him. I hope so, because he's not really dying right now. Uh, unfortunately for us, he is um, very badly injured, but still very stable. So, Rook, I'm going to need you to kidnap him, and then we're going to run him on to where Balder is, and pray that this works. Balder, why aren't you building? Did I forget to confirm it or something? Uh, so many things getting in the way here. Alright, exterior, prisoner burning pole right there please and confirm Balder thank you oh now we're lagging why are we lagging well I'll let him take care of this and then uh, see you guys when Rook has arrived okay so Rook has arrived and our prisoner burning pole appears to be buried in this rubble here but we can still see it so I'm going to ask him to put our prisoner on there. And we'll see if this even works. Because there's a good chance that it will not. Okay. Uh, nope, he's dying alright. Oh god, this is unpleasant. <laughs> but it's working. Uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely burning to death. Alright, well, um, I'll spare you guys watching his screaming and I think that we are far enough away from the hub that when we return the cell should be reset but we can only hope uh, so let's see we're at 106 K this is nearly full so we can do another copper run in a second how's this one doing that one's getting there as well so uh, Ada what are you doing oh I think she she was in bed. I think she fell through the floor. Let's have her and Grox switch. So Grox, I would like you to stop what you're doing. Ada, you can go work on this with Skinner. And Grox, I'm going to take you off that job permanently. And then we're going to go ahead and let you start training. Probably your strength first. Because everybody's more or less caught him in strength. He's at 26. But I think in every other regard, he's well ahead. Except for maybe melee attack. And then, of course, like stealth in the thievery skills. So I'll have him train his strength up to whatever the max is for our training bench. 
then probably put him on melee attack and melee defense. Although I don't know how much further he can push those on the, the training tools that we have. And I don't know if he's going to focus in these skills at all. But we'll see. It, it's useful to have stealth on everybody, even if they're not going to be like a stealthy character. But yeah, let's ask him to go ahead and start training there. Are you guys not training? Oh, great. They've just been sitting here. So you should be training your assassination. And you guys should be doing your melee defense. There we go. Okay. Right. And Rook. Um, how's our friend doing out here? Man, it's so slow. I feel terrible about this. By the way, this reminds me. Uh, and don't ask why it reminds me. But if this playthrough continues to do well, which so far it's done pretty well. I think people are enjoying Kenshi so far. And I'd like to make it you know, a bigger part of the channel, potentially. Um, so maybe if we get a little bit further along in this playthrough and uh, people are still interested, I'll start a second one. And I was thinking of doing it as somebody who is allied or part of the Holy Nation, because they're kind of like low-hanging fruit in terms of the, the go-to bad guy for most people, I think. And so I think it would be fun to try to make them relatable, play as somebody in there and kind of explore what their motivations might be. And since in this playthrough we're focusing more on, you know, trying to build up trade and doing all these different industrial things, I think in that playthrough it would be a lot more fun to focus strictly on like military aspects. So maybe start our own legion within the Holy Nation. And so uh, one thing I was thinking of doing is the Holy Nation is sort of like here in more or less this area. I think a little bit out there as well. But anyways, there's a lot of like cannibal territory up here. And so maybe recon uh, reconquering cannibal territory uh, could be like a goal in that playthrough or just reconquering everything. But definitely the cannibals, I feel like the Holy Nation would, you know, definitely like to do that. Obviously they're at war with the Shek as well. And so that's a conflict we could try to resolve in that playthrough. And then they're rivals with the... Um, the United Cities. And so that's something to explore as well. And there's still potential for building. Obviously, if we conquer the uh, cannibal territories, we'll need to establish outposts there. And so we could get our building in that way. But we would still focus more on the, the traditional mili military aspects and less about like, oh, how much you know copper can we mine? And then where do we sell it for the most profit? And stuff like that. Also, Vulcan's not doing anything, so let's have him keep cranking out these, uh... I've just been having him do... Where is it? I don't see it now. Oh, bladed iron clubs. They're one of the least expensive in terms of material cost. It's just two, um, iron plates. And it also, of all the things that cost two iron plates, I think sells for the most. So let's see, the staff, for example, this level of staff sells for 387 for the bladed iron club. Oh, it's the same. So I guess it doesn't matter that much, but I've just been having him crank these out. I think he's got a few in his inventory, potentially. No, he's been dumping them here, more than likely. Yeah, that's his weapon. And I think we looted this off a of bandit or something. But yeah, he's been making a variety of quality bladed iron clubs for me and he should have enough to make a few of those I think he's got three in there plus three in his inventory so everything's going pretty smoothly there what are your skills looking like he's getting up there again I'm just basically trying to level him up we're I think losing a tiny bit of money on this production because I think the amount we spend on two iron plates is probably Oop, wrong button. Uh, no, that's still a slight profit. Only for buying them here, though. Because that's a pretty good markdown. Only paying 83% of the average. But anyways, uh, it's not really about the money. It's about getting his skills up so that later we can... Oh, are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. 
Um, man, that was unpleasant. Oh god, and, like it charred his body and everything. Jesus. Well, that's an unpleasant way to die. Uh, but the reason why uh, that made me think of the other playthroughs because obviously that's something that the Holy Nation would do. I also have... Let's see. I think it's in exterior. No. I mean, that's where the burning prisoner pole is. Could be interior. Yeah, there's crucifixes for prisoners, too. Um, this is more like a cage, though. They don't die on these, I don't think, anyways. It just holds them. But if we were reconquering cannibal territory, that would be like a really intimidating thing to sort of line the approach to our bases with to you know, maybe ward them off. Obviously, we'd be a lot more brutal in that playthrough than this one, although that was... That was a bit macabre. Um, so yeah, we've killed him. I suppose we can return to the hub now and see if anything's changed. I don't know what we'll do about that. I might just leave it there. Okay, Rook. You're our runner. Hopefully we're far enough away. Because I think it does need to do a full cell reset. So if we are still too close to the cell, it won't do that. But... Nobody's actually in the hub right now, or, you know, on the outskirts of it. So I think we're far enough away. So I'll allow Rook to run back over there, and we'll see how it goes. Grox, how's your training coming? It's going. Because he's so high in strength, he's only going to get so much out of this. Oh, God. Come on, game. Like, we've got, what, six, seven people hanging out in this building? Why does this need to be reloaded? Uh, okay, let's go up a floor. Hopefully the camera will cooperate. What is going on here? There we go. Alright, I'll let it load. I tried, um, somebody suggested an option where the game will keep multiple cells loaded at a time. But I, I didn't really notice a difference. It still needed to load pretty much every time I switch back and forth between characters. And... I didn't see a huge drop-off in performance overall, but there was a slight drop-off, and it didn't really seem to provide any benefit, so I was just like, whatever, and I got rid of it. So let's see. I'm trying to click on this bench here. It's not allowing me to. Why can't I select the bench? Okay, Grox, move away from it. Okay, max skill is 39, so he can potentially get like 13 strength levels out of that. So we'll have him do it for a little while. Rook, what's your run speed now? I'm curious. 23, pretty good. So I don't think there's anything human that could catch him. Only uh, animals. I think beak things could probably still run him down. And maybe some of the spider things as well. But that's probably it. Okay, Rook is back and the town appears to have been vacated. So I'm wondering if it is in fact ours now. It is. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems like everybody left as part of that, and I think that's because the AI can't, yeah, so the AI can't actually own buildings in a player-owned city, so I, I don't know if the other mod had a way around this, but clearly this place has just been emptied out, which is a shame because it would have been nice to maintain the guards out front uh, that we didn't have to control. It would have been nice to have sort of an independent bar running that we could use as um, something to trade with. But at the same time, um, we don't have to worry about paying for all of these buildings now. We just need to actually fix them. And we are able to dismantle stuff too, which is great. Because, uh, for example, back here, this is way too cluttered for me. Like, this building should not be here. Or maybe that one shouldn't be there or something. I don't know. But, like, that is the only passageway to this tower. Also, um, I was thinking, like, I was looking at this before I started recording. And, like, if this building was gone and replaced with another one of these mirrored over, I think that would look pretty cool. Definitely fill this out better. And, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff I'd like to change about the layout in this town. And so it's nice that we can do that. So, the main goal now is we need to bring a whole hell of a lot of building materials over here, among other things. 
Oh, can we not repair these? Oh, we can. Okay. So, I don't recall what we needed before, but building materials, uh, iron plates, steel bars, potentially. So there's, yeah, there's quite a bit that we would need. We can use the bar here as a staging area. But even that's going to be difficult. Well, at least there's already some beds for us. And a water tank. So we've got, like, the basics. Ooh, and there's some weapons in here. Uh, do we have those? I think we have all this. But we'll grab them anyways. Are those the same, like identical? No, they're not. So... Okay. Rations and stuff. Uh, a little bit of steel bars. That's good. We can go see what the Shinobi Thieves left us, too. I imagine everything that was there is just you know, been abandoned, so potentially we can use all the training dummies that they already set up in there. And maybe we'll just use that tower as like a training tower, since it's already, you know, partially set up that way. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see anybody. There should be somebody out front normally. Uh, but that's a real shame about no NPCs being here. Because it would have been really nice to be able to fence stuff to these guys or you know just have them here can i not open this okay it's just taking a while all right um thank you what do we got here just some pants some boots uh oh hello some free armor i'll take that some more clothing there and that's just part of the door. What about this barrel? Free weapon, okay. Well, at least we got some loot out of this. We did lose all of our potential, you know, AI merchants, but... Oh, well. Oh, that's a locksmith training box. Okay. Well, that's handy. And then they have the assassination dummies in here as well. Some more clothing. Let's go upstairs. Got more beds. And some weapon lockers. Let's see what's in these. What is that? A Tessin, huh? That's a pretty good quality wakizashi. It's better than anything we have. Uh, more ninja blades. Small Tessin, another wakizashi. Some clothing. Ooh. Chainmail. What's this? Uh, the blueprint for a Tessin. Um, metallic fan, huh? I could sell that for a good little bit. And what are these? Dark leather turtleneck, heart protector cover, samurai cloth pants hidden chain. Is that what these are? Yeah. Okay, and then some thieves backpacks. More assassins rags. What's this? Just a regular t-shirt. And then finally, up here, uh, I don't see any containers. Just some more sleeping spots. Okay. Well, again, at least we got loot out of this. Um, it would have been nice to keep the Shinobi Thieves there. I gladly would have traded that loot for a faction I could sell stuff to. Uh, who are you? Why are you here? Oh, we got Hungry Bandits in the city. How did that happen, I wonder? Where did they come from? They didn't run through the wall, did they? That would be concerning. I don't think they can, though. I trust these walls more than, you know, player-built walls. But they could have snuck in somehow. I wonder if I should kill them before the rest arrive. I'm just trying to figure out... They travel in packs, obviously, so I want to make sure I'm not running headlong into one. But if it's just like two of them, I wouldn't mind, you know, killing them here. And avoiding having to deal with all of them at once. Let's see, maybe I can aggro them if I attack from a distance? No? They're still running. But I do only see the two of them. Oh, there's a couple down here. Oh, there's several down here. 
Okay, well, I don't think Rook is equipped to fight that many people at once. Two, I would be okay with, especially with these guys, they're pretty terrible. But not, not six or seven. So we'll obviously need to clear them out. But we also need to figure out how we're going to get all the resources we need here. So while we're paused, let's survey a bit. And that'll be kind of how we end this episode, is figuring out how we're going to build this place up. So would it be under exterior? No. Uh, storage, storage sheds, tech. Probably not tech, no. What's it under? I don't think it's crafting. Mm, nope. Lights, markets, mining. Duh. All right, so a stone mine. Where can we put down a good stone mine? Um, probably want it to be at least 60%. Like anything less than that is pretty terrible, to be honest. But I'm not seeing anything better than like 40. So it might be better to just like deal with a couple of 40% ones that are, you know, in safe locations rather than... Uh, I guess that's not too bad if it would let me place it out here. Oh, yeah. There we go. 64. Somewhere in there. I saw 64, 63. And that's pretty close to the gate. I'm going to put that down now just so I don't forget about it. Um, and if we could get one in here at 80, that would be fantastic. Uh, I don't want to block the road, though. Come on, where is it? Oh, if it would just let me put it right on that hill. Uh, maybe if I change the height. No, it won't let me change the height. Uh, I can try the slope, possibly. No, these don't really move the same way buildings do. Oh, come on. It's like so perfect right there. Maybe out here then. No. Get 40 out here. Like, why? That's really flat. Why can't I build on that? Well, I think 60% is going to have to be enough. Because I don't see anything better than 40 anywhere else. Other than that 80. Which, again, it won't let us do. Uh, you can do 40 out here. But that's not better than what we already have. Between 0 and 2 there. Um, pretty much nothing in that area. Pan it around and try this side. Pretty much nothing. Okay, so we found like the one place that has at least decent stone. Now, the question becomes, do we want to build the refineries outside or inside? Because potentially I could try to squeeze it up against the wall or something. Like we could put it right there so that whoever's operating this is safe. And we'll just put the storage, like, right next to it. So that's something we could do. Um, we will, of course, need to fit in the storage somewhere. And then we have iron refinery. It's the same deal. Same size as well. That is... I think iron. I'm going to confirm this just so that stays there. This is iron, correct? Yeah. Uh, and that's a full size one, so we can get three people on that. That'll produce a good amount of iron for us. Oh, no. The game unpaused. Oh, no. Rook is fighting. Uh, it looks like he already... Did you down him, or what? I don't know that I want Rook fighting all these guys. Although... He doesn't have any food on him. Why did they even attack him? We can always send somebody to rescue him if he gets downed. So it's not that big of a deal. It could be a good opportunity to train up strength, but they could try to steal his gear off of him, and that's what I'm more concerned about. I don't know that they'll actually do that, though, since they're just hungry bandits. Uh, but not all of them are attacking. So maybe I should let him fend off these four or five. I guess we'll try it. Uh, he shouldn't die, especially not with their blunt weapons. Okay, so we've got iron. 
We've got more iron out there, and that's another full one. That's a bit far, though. Um, is there copper? It's going to be really difficult to maintain this place if there's no copper. No, it looks like it's all iron. But there is quite a bit of iron around, at least. What is this out here? It's not going to let me go that far. It would have been nice if this mod set up another Shinobi Thieves outpost in the area. But unfortunately, I don't believe it did. So I'm not seeing any copper. If you guys know of a copper node around here, please let me know. I'll check the wiki. But I'm willing to bet we're probably just going to be dealing in iron at this location. So what that means is that the operation back in Squin is going to be even more important. And we're going to have to probably have regular caravan runs between the locations, just shipping the copper. We won't be selling all of it. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to check is there's a couple really nice looking defensible lo locations. And so I think I have the... Do I not have the tower? Watchtower. Okay. Can I build it, like, in these places, for example? Uh, can I build it flat? <laughs> Let's see. I don't want it, like, at a weird angle. Oh, that's so perfect. Like, one there would be amazing. Um, like, here would be cool. Yeah, it looks like I can get it in there. The only reason I, I want to do that is because we kind of looked at this before, and this is one of the main approaches to the city. But because of this sort of like cliff here, the walls and even that tower up there can't fire on this. Uh, they're, anybody running up this way is basically safe until they come in range of the defenses at the gate. And so, by setting up something here, we can fire from much further or much sooner up that path. And then this is kind of similar, although not with that path, but anything in the valley this will cover better. I wonder, can we get one? I don't think people would be able to get to that. I'm pretty sure they can walk to this. And then the other side has kind of a similar issue. There's a, a approach vector there, there's one here, and then... Uh, a main one there so figuring out some you know way to better overwatch these would be ideal you can put towers I don't know that's kind of unnecessary with the one right here I don't know how well that would work but we could even uh, take the stairs out right there and try to squeeze a tower in in this spot maybe I don't know just Trying to come up with ideas for how to better fortify this place. Okay. Um, Balder, don't tell me you're running all the way over here, right? Okay, good. Let's watch Rook fight this out. Where did we see him? There he is. And then I think that'll be the end of today's episode. Okay. Come on, Rook. You got this. Uh, there's just too many of them. Yeah, you better bail. Don't let him get you in the legs. Okay, uh, he'll be able to outrun them. They did get him in the leg a little bit, though. Uh, no, keep running, keep running, keep running. I could have closed the gate behind us. That might have worked. No, they've already given up. Are they just going to loot the place for food? Is that what they're doing? I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. They're just kind of running around. I thought they might be like stealing the food out of the things here, but it doesn't seem like they're doing anything at all other than just kind of roaming okay so yep the hub is blue it's ours now let's send it on back or send him on back we'll get him patched up he's not bleeding so wait no go this way what are you doing I know you can get there this way okay so I'm gonna have bucket do one last copper run while uh, Rook is still running back to base so let's go ahead and do that and I, I really wish I could get more in his inventory but that'll have to be enough. We'll run next door and sell this or walk next door. Vulcan are you done with your work? 
I think you are. Oops, why do I keep hitting C? You got some armor plates that we stole, but no iron plates. Let's see if we have any in here. Yeah, we've got some. I'll let him use the rest of those, because they're not very expensive. He's got five, so... I think we can add a few more to the queue. Let's do like three or something. Uh, we can't do that many. We'll do two more. Uh, while you're out here, talk to them real quick. I want to see if they've got any meat scraps. They do. We'll buy all that. And see if this guy's got any as well. Perfect. Just cheap food. Although, uh, I've been buying, like, Gohan and ration packs as well to supplement that. But especially for the prisoners, it's nice to just be able to give them a couple of, like, cheap little food things. Rather than giving them their own, uh, you know, bit of rations or whatever. Bucket, where are you going, man? What is going on here? Why isn't the building loading? I don't know. No idea what's going on here. There it is. Okay. So we're at just under 106,000, and this should put us closer to like 120. If not over. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Uh, books. We need books. So we'll take all 26 of those, and all 30 of these iron plates. And puts us back to 112. So we still made about 6,000 profit there after buying all of this stuff. And we didn't really need all this stuff other than maybe the books, arguably. Building materials uh, we could buy here. I'm hoping that what we can do is just bring enough to set up a stone mining operation there and start manufacturing our own there rather than having to ship like hundreds of building materials. Not that it's that far of a journey, but there are, you know, potentially bandits and stuff along the way, and we would need a pack animal for that, which I will keep an eye out for between episodes. Nomads do frequently come through here, so we'll just have to buy, like, a, a bull or something off them, as well as a, a pack for it. Because I don't think it would be wise to have our people lug that on their backs. We would just be too slow. The animals are slow as well, but they're not nearly as slow as somebody fully encumbered. At least I don't think so. Uh, you know what? Just give him the iron plates. Since he's the one using them. Oh god, this lag. Why, oh why. There we go. Okay, Vulcan, I'm gonna give you all of these. Hopefully your backpack is ready. I imagine it is. I don't think he's got much on him. Other than that lone iron plate. And then Bucket. Let's have you ditch that food as well. I actually have a lot of food in here. But you can't eat it, so there's no reason for you to have it. Or you don't need to eat it, I guess is a better way of saying that. Is one of those stolen? Is that why? Yeah, that's why. Are any of these stolen? Doesn't look like it. Okay, give it to Vulcan. Vulcan will eat it. Okay. Run back over here. Let's unload your books. Oh, we still had some books in there. I guess we just ran out of things to do then. Uh, let's look at factions as well. So, once you have your own faction, uh, and I still need to name ours, you can start getting, well, not just once you have your own faction. Once you have your own, like, city, you can start getting raided. And if you have raids coming, it'll tell you here and roughly when they'll arrive. So you can prepare. It's not just going to show up on your doorstep one day. Um, we're crafting right now. We don't have any research going. Is there any research we can be doing? Yeah, there's still some. A lot of this stuff is going to require, ooh, advanced fighting training. Ooh, look at all that. Advanced attack, advanced defense, advanced dodge, advanced martial arts, aim, crossbows. Yeah, let's do that for sure. How much does that cost? Oh, I can't see now. I already did it. Anyways, we'll knock that out. Um, I don't know if I even want to be running this mod, to be honest. 
it adds like muskets I think and that was really the only reason I downloaded it but it adds a whole lot of other stuff too and I'm not super interested in that let's see small generators may as well battery capacity let's get all those out of the way but um, so everything that's read it out right now is going to require stuff that we don't have access to yet so ancient science books you can occasionally buy in town but more likely what you'll need to do is go to ancient libraries or things like that uh, essentially old ruins that have you know old stuff in them and loot them and the same is true for the engineering research but those will be like ancient workshops i believe although you can find ancient science books in there too so we'll have to start adventuring to gather that stuff uh, and it looks like for the most part that's what we're going to need to start doing oh actually this only requires steel bars so we can do that and that just requires crossbow crafting which have we not done already I don't know uh, we can knock these out as well tech level 4 we're gonna need some ancient science books though so I'm mostly focusing on core right now and crafting or smithing sorry because I really want uh, Vulcan to oh yeah there's crossbow crafting I want him to be able to start making plate armor as well as really good quality weapons like top quality weapons but that's gonna be a ways off so with all that stuff out of the way I guess I'll leave it here for today uh, feel free to suggest some ideas for how best to go about rebuilding the hub but it's gonna be quite the project and potentially we could start getting raided while we're building it so it could be really really hard but we will do our best and see if we can pull it off and then that'll be our main base of operations hopefully we can get some nice industry set up there again copper is not gonna happen but one thing that we can do is this is this building has been sort of our all-purpose um, you know just do everything have everything in this building it doesn't need to stay that way anymore we can basically tear everything out except for maybe just copper processing facilities and so the copper can get stored here the copper can get processed here we'll ship off you know not even necessarily the ore we can make the copper plates we can make the electronic circuits and whatever here and then ship those up to the hub or sell them or whatever we end up doing so this can become just like a strictly copper producing processing facility anyways feel free to suggest other ideas in the comments below don't forget to keep the characters coming um, we are gonna be recruiting somebody probably in the next episode because I need at least one or two more uh, we just need to find some prisoners to recruit or people in bars which I probably should have looked if there was any recruits in that bar before we um, emptied it but too late now so Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.